crafters. So I have recently discovered an amazingly fun pull string method of painting and this video is about that. So in this video I want to test out the regular string. I want to test out this, uh, I'm not sure what you call this type of chain, but basically ball chain and the regular type of chain and see which one does the most interesting designs. Let's start with the regular string. So there are a number of ways to do this pull string method. I'm going to do this method on the canvas. To do this on the canvas, I will take my canvas and I will color the canvas, all of it, even though it's white. I need white acrylic on top of this. And I will actually use a good amount of water so that the layer of water is pretty thick. So here's my canvas all in acrylic paint. Let's put it slightly to the side. Now let's take, I have this kind of container from the fish that I had before. So I kept it, it's perfect for pouring the paint on the string. And before we put the paint on the string, I actually like to wet the string in water. And now lay the string out so that we can tell what color goes where. So off we go, covering certain areas of the string. In example, yellow is the first color. Next is gonna be bright pink. Try to aim it to be on top of the thread, of course. And this is neon blue. So the next what I do is I take the brush with water, clean brush, and let's say start with yellow and add a little bit of water on top of it and spread it around. Spread the paint so the string gets really good coverage of that color. And now clean the brush and do same with pink. In the brush and same for the blue. So now let's take gently the string off of this, this container. Go on top of the canvas and neatly in zigzag motions put the string down. You can experiment with how you lay this out. If you can see, the top is a smaller kind of loop and then it goes a little larger and larger. So now that we have it laid down, I'm gonna take that same brush, clean it, and basically take, kind of put the chunks, for example, of yellow where the yellow will be, to again thicken up the layers of paint. You will see in a minute why I'm doing this. Stick in the brush, take the pinks, and this way you're not wasting any color. All right, I think this is pretty great. Now let's pull. So start from the bottom over here. Move so that the string slides on top of the canvas so that it doesn't lift up and try to keep your string from one point. So here's the basic of pool string. It looks like a cool and tropical flower. Definitely try it yourself, pretty easy to do. And uh, the next experiment will be with the chain. Okay, so we're gonna start the second experiment. I already painted this canvas black, so I'm gonna put this away for now. <laughs> I will take my blue palette and I'm gonna take my gorgeous chain, these kind of ball chains. And same as what we just did with the string, lay it down and off we go to cover all of this with different paints on black i think the best colors are white uh i also have pink i think i'm gonna do yeah just white and pink so 
and of course a couple of more layers of pink and white. The pink I'm actually gonna pour right on there. Alright, I think we're ready to pull. Again from the same kind of one corner. Uh, make sure it slides on the canvas, not up. this and with the same string I'm gonna do and just a couple of more layers of white let's pull So I'm already loving this and for extra artsiness get a brush that has a lot of water and soak it in let's say the leftover white this kind of pinky white so when it's all juicy and loaded take your finger and go up uh, you can test it on the paper before doing this maybe but uh, what's gonna happen is it's gonna sp spill downwards these kind of cool dots sometimes lines which are I also really like okay so here's our third one uh, let's freshen up the paint the black paint lots of water So it looks very similar to the chain before. I love it still. Try it yourself and you know, try using maybe different chains with different thickness strings. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.